hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to add status bar in oru version 15 so currently in the screen you are seeing oru version 15 community edition where you are continuing oru 15 development tutorials so in this video we will be talking about the status bar how to add status bar in oru so what i'll do is that i'll go to the sales module so here we have the sales module and if i open the sales module we have the quotation here so if i open the quotation here in the top right of the screen you can see a status bar like quotation quotation send sale order that shows the status of the record similarly if you go to the project module so i have installed the odoo project module in my database and if i go to the projects then to the my task here you can see we have this much tasks in our database so if i open any of our task you can see we have the status bar here like i can click it will switch to the new that is the record is in new state and once it start and we can move it to in progress so you can see the state has been changed to in progress and similarly i can move to the next state so this section or this is called as status bar in odoo so what we will be doing is that we will be adding a similar status bar inside our hospital module for the appointment model so if i go to the hospital so here we have the hospital menu and if i go to the appointments and if i take any of the appointment here you can see right now we don't have the status bar so definitely an appointment will have a different states like a draft and maybe in consultation done cancelled so there will be different states for a appointment like draft in consultation done and cancelled so let's see how we can add a status bar here for the appointment model so first of all what we have to do is that we have to define a selection field in our corresponding model so i'll go to the pie charm and here we have our custom add-ons path and we have om hospital module so inside models folder we have appointment dot py so this is the model hospital dot appointment so if i go to the ui in the url you can see this is the model so we have to add a selection field in this model so i'll go to the pie charm and we have to add a selection field and i will name it as state so you can follow the same criteria like it's a reserved keyword in odoo so just what i'll do is that i'll copy the existing selection field sample that we have here and i'll put it here and i will name it as state and i'll change the string as status and what we have to do we have to assign the value so i'll put the value as draft here i'll put the string as draft then you can put in consultation consultation then string as in consultation then next what done once the appointment is finished we have to move to done state and there is also possibility of cancelling the appointment so i'll add a state called cancel and i will label it as cancelled so what we have done over here is we have defined a selection field with four values that is draft in consultation done and cancelled and i have given the string as status now what we have to do we have to define the field inside corresponding view so what we will be doing is that this is the default odoo source code and i'll click on right click find in path and you can search for status bar status bar then you can see a lot of samples inside the odoo so here you can see a sample that is from ir do translation model so what they have done is right after the form tag we are adding a header tag so simply i will copy that so i'll copy this Control c copy and what i'll do i have to add it inside appointment view 
so if i come to the views we have appointment view.xml so appointment view.xml and here we have form so right after the form i will paste the thing that i have copied from the odoo code so inside header so try to keep the indentation so i will just add a header tag and close it and inside that i will add my newly defined field so our field name is state state so field name equal to state and you have to give this widget widget status bar and you don't need any label that is label don't need to appear so you can see you can put no label equal to one so that field label will not get appeared so we have successfully added a field and added it in the corresponding view inside the header tag so we will be restarting the odoo service and we will be going into the ui and we will be upgrading odoo om hospital module so i'll just duplicate this tab and i'll go to apps menu and i will upgrade hospital management module so you can see the module has been upgraded without any issues now what i'll do i'll simply restart refresh the screen and here you can see a status bar has been uh, successfully added to the screen you can see draft in consultation done and cancelled but so the, even it has been added successfully it is not clickable now so if i need to move the state you can see it's not clickable now so what you have to do you have to make it clickable so for that there is one attribute so let me find in path again so you can see there is one attribute called clickable equal to one so you can see options clickable one so simply i'll copy that Control c and i will put it over here clickable one and i'll close that dictionary so inside options you have to add clickable equal to one options equal to dictionary of clickable one so let's refresh the screen just restart the service and let's upgrade the module to reflect those changes so i'll click on the upgrade button so the module has been upgraded now if i open the appointment you can see this has been clickable now so in order to make the status bar or the states you need to change it manually by clicking then you can add options clickable equal to one so that's done but there is one issue so you can see currently it's in draft state and if i go to the next record the second record you can see it's empty no value is assigned so in python level what i'll do i'll assign a default value for the record so i'll put here as default equal to that is i'm saying the default value for this field is draft so i'll put it as draft and you can put it as a required field required equal to true so there will be no records without state so let me refresh restart the service and let's upgrade so you can see right now for fff all is there is no state with blue color because there is no value assigned so i have assigned a default value from code and let's upgrade the module and see what happens so if i refresh I'm expecting draft has to be come as default value for all the records so here draft 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 everywhere you can see draft except one record will be the right thing so all the records so what i'll do i'll put this value as in consultation and for some value i'll move it to cancelled and for pineapple i'll put done state so if you come here let's group by state status you can see there is one cancelled record one in done state five in draft state and one is in consultation so this is how you can add status bar in odoo but you have more features by default we will not show all the status like we don't need to show the cancelled state always here inside like right now yeah right now we can show suppose you don't need to show the cancel here or what i can say 
suppose if I go to the sales module so this is sales module if you check here you can see we will not be able to click on these states instead of instead of clicking on this state these states are controlled by these buttons so right now the state is quotation so if i click on confirm you can see the state has been switched so there will be some case where will be the where we will be controlling the states using buttons so that i will show in the next video like how to control states using buttons in Odoo. so right now as a note you can understand suppose if you do need to hide the cancelled state from here like you don't need to show the cancelled state always what you can do you can you have an attribute you have an attribute called status bar visible so you can see there is one attribute status bar visible then you can specify which all states has to be displayed by default so i'll put here draft has to be shown always then what in consultation has to be shown always and what done state so i'm telling by default i need to see those states only in the status bar and the rest of the state will be shown only when there is a record in that state so simply i will add like this like status bar visible equal to draft in consultation and done let's upgrade so i'll switch this tab and let me upgrade om hospital module so i'll click on upgrading the module now if i come to the appointments and if i open any of the records you can see here you have draft in consultation and done here you have draft in consultation and done you can see cancelled is not showing unless there is a record inside that state now the question will be how we will be moving a record into cancel state for that we will be controlling using a button so just you need to understand that suppose by default if you need to show only particular state so that is the formula or the architecture that olu is following the cancelled state we will not be showing here unless a record is not moved so just status bar visible you can add these states so i hope you understood this information so if there is anything that is not clear for you feel free to ping me and clarify those doubts you can just directly comment under the video and i'll be trying to reply you as soon as possible so if you like the video please do click the like button please have a comment share with your Odoo friends and support us by subscribing the channel so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you